Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to customize your charts with different drawing tools and components on the MotiveWave trading platform. So now when you are using this platform, you may see them being called two different things, components or tools. They're essentially the same thing, just the way of accessing them is a bit different. First up, I will show you the components menu, and I think this is a great option because it does visually show you all the different drawing tools available for you. And it's really easy. All you need to do is left click, hold and drag onto the location of your chart where you'd like to add that drawing tool to. So for example, to get into the components window, you can either go through the view sub menu here and then head down to display and click on components, or you can just come down to view and click on components right here. Now, to my knowledge, this the view menu may be a bit different depending on what main widget you have open. So being that we do have a chart open, it does recognize that and it'll automatically add this component features here. If you don't have a chart, it may not display here and you'll just need to go through this little display sub menu instead to reach this. Either way, you can click on Alt C on your keyboard and it will bring you to this component side menu here. So the components menu, as you can see, it's very straightforward, but it's also extremely customizable and there's a ton of different options here. As you can see, it's very visually appealing. It does give you a little brief um, introduction to what that drawing tool would actually look like when it's on your chart. And as you can see, there are a ton of different filters here. If you're not sure where we're looking at, it is on the far left hand side. You can see my mouse moving over it. It's just a small little sub bar here on the far left side. So. As you can see, there's general tools, which we just kind of took a look at. There's basic tools, things such as trend lines, or you can comment text, retrace lines, extension, expansion. There's a ton of different options here, and I'll try and scroll through slowly so you can take a look at all the different options. Coming down to commentary, these are just things for if you want to make a comment to yourself, something to remember later, or maybe you had a method that was successful and you want to head back to that method sometime down in the future, you would just annotate that. Just again, you just left click, drag your tool, whatever it is. In this case, it's an annotation. And then you can customize as you need. As you saw, just double click and I can just name this note just for the purpose of this video. You can delete, highlight, edit as you typically would. It'll leave that annotation for you there. If you want to delete something, you just left click it and you'll probably see the outline of the bubbles. All you do is just click delete on your keyboard and it's as easy as that. I'm going to continue on. There's different markers. So just basic shapes, numbers, letters, Fibonacci, which I'm sure a lot of our traders are interested in. So you do have Fibonacci retracement lines. You have Fibonacci circles, Fib wedges, a bunch of different grids ratios, things of that nature, regression lines. Again, as you can see, there are a ton of different, um, different angles here, different squares, grids, things of that nature. And then of course, and I'm sure a lot of people do use this platform just for this feature, Elliott Wave. Elliott Wave is of course what this platform was created based off of. So of course you'll find a bunch of different Elliott Wave indicators included in this platform. So obviously it does take a bit of knowledge to use these indicators and you'll need to properly lay them down on your charts. As you can see, it doesn't snap exactly onto the location of your chart. So as you can see here, I do need to draw and drag my main point of my Elliott wave onto different areas of my graph here to get the accurate representation of the Elliott wave and the different numbers it produces. Of course, that probably doesn't make any sense, but we're just showing you as from a technical standpoint and just how to actually put this onto your chart. Of course, the methodology behind it will change depending on the user, but of course this is merely a demo and we're just showing just how to do it. So that's Elliott wave. And then of course the last thing is harmonic. So again, kind of similar here, but this is even more intuitive. I won't even get <laughs> into how to customize this, but I'm sure there are users out there who will find this helpful. So that is through the components menu. Again, at any time you can just left click and highlight that and get it, it becomes active and then you can click delete on your keyboard. You can also right click any drawing tool or component. 
You can come through here, you can cut, copy, paste, delete as you would any Microsoft or any Windows product, the typical copy, cut, paste, delete functions. So as you can see, I just copy that there. I can delete it and then I can just click on Control V, the paste functionality in Microsoft and it pastes it onto my chart. So that's really easy to do, just Control V. Again, heading back to the right click context menu once this is selected. As you can see, we can make it visible on certain intervals and if you did watch our indicator videos, this is a very similar feature here. You can make it active on 15 minute intervals only or greater than or equal to 15 minutes. And you can set that up in the settings when you initially add this here or in the properties, excuse me. Uh, you can format it to different text sizes. You can bold, highlight, increase font. You can show more info about it, show different ratios, show lines at all time, ranges. You can change the type of this harmonic here. And then you can either lock it so you don't accidentally edit it. You can hide the component. So if you hide it there, it'll just kind of disappear. And then of course, the final option in the context menu was to go to those properties. So each drawing tool does have a different property. Let's just add this one to our chart real quick. You'll notice properties allow you to customize even further. So some of what you did see in that right click context menu do give you some of these options, but this breaks it down even further. And typically, not on this one, but on other drawing tools and indicators, you can customize colors and line sizes with things like that. But as far as adding different components and drawing tools, like I kind of showed you before, the other option you have is by right clicking your chart, heading down to tools, and then doing it from this section here. So as you can see in tools, you do have a couple different cursor icon customization options. So you can zoom right now by default, it is on drag. So we can drag across our timeline. So we have a select option and then you can just do no tool as well. And then finally, as far as the actual tools go here, as you can see, you do get some indicators or drawing tools for each of the different filters that we saw in the components menu. There's just not as much because obviously you're working within a smaller menu. So if you have or you want to use these, you're more than welcome to if you're looking for something a bit more advanced or you want to see what it looks like before you actually add it to the chart, you should probably go through the sub menu. But that just about does it for this video. If you do have any questions or comments on what we did here today, please leave them down in the comment section below, or you can head over to our community forum and ask them there. We do have a motive wave section on our forum. So any questions particular to the platform, you can ask them there. If you're not familiar with the community forum, you can go ahead and check down in the description. We have a link for that there. So you can easily sign up and go ahead and ask your questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Motive Wave content and other futures trading tips, advice, psychology, much more. And once again, thanks for watching.